Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be taking apart these studio speakers here made by Audio Pro. Now these are for sale, but still, I just want to show you guys inside of one of them. So we're actually going to put one aside right there. We're actually going to take this one apart today. Now this one features a 4 inch woofer with a silk dome tweeter on it. If you don't know what a tweeter is, I'll get one down for you guys to have a look at that. I took out of a center channel speaker. This is a silk dome tweeter here. This is what produces those nice, crisp, clear, high frequencies. These are pretty common in units like this. Pretty common. Hang on, if I... I focus it properly. like that look at that in the front you got the back this one's rated at 50 watts that's pretty good actually so yeah let's get to the speakers eh now you're gonna need an allen key wrench or whatever you call it on the right size like this make sure it will fit in there nicely I've got almost like every single tool that I can have that I have so yeah it basically has screws just like this I'm gonna focus it for you guys it's like that and got a tool it's like this and it will fit in there just fine like that. Fits in there fine. I'm using a 3mm wrench here for this 3mm socket screw. And we're going to put them down. And we're actually going to continue taking them apart. The tweeter will be the most interesting one actually. Let's bring it out close for the camera so we can actually have a look and I will pause the video until we get all of these screws out. The tweeter will be last. Okay, screws have been taken out. Now let's try and tip this forward. I do that and then so we can actually catch the woofer if it falls out. Let's try and do this carefully. Just like that. You got the woofer. Read it four ohms. Probably a little over a hundred watts. Try and disconnect this plug here just like that. You got a crossover in there as well. So here you have the woofer, it's a nice very 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 nice four inch woofer I gotta say. It's very nice and the funny thing is it's actually plastic. And it's got a voice coil venting in there as well. You can't see the coil but it's definitely been cooled in there while it's working away. These things sound really good, actually, to be honest. We've got the model IM.10B, capital B, <laughs> capital B. 
So yeah, if you want to see the construction of this thing, and I'll give you a good, good close up here. See how much the woofer moves along with the cone. Alright, we've got the woofer there. And you got the crossover in there. And you got the terminals on the back. Let's have a look at the uh, tweeter then, eh? Let's see what the tweeter has for us. The screws have disappeared. Now let's try and get this tweeter out somehow without damaging the unit itself. Like that. You take the unit off. Get it apart like that. Nice and easy. Wow. This is a big unit. This is, I gotta say. This is a big, big unit. Okay, we've got the dome tweeter here. It's got a silk dome tweeter with ferrofluid in it, basically. Whenever we get a magnet, look at the size of the magnet on that thing. Look at my neck. I've never seen a dome tweeter have a magnet this big. Like, see if I can compare it to something like almost as big as. No, not really. This one's a bit bigger. This is just an old woof that I found. It's blown. But that's alright. It's all about the Audio Pro speakers anyway. I am 10D. We got. I am 10B. So yeah. Let's clean up these enclosures a little bit. Speaker drivers on these are pretty good actually. Very, very nice. It's got a little red marker on the positive to positive terminal. Sorry. I get muddled up my words. So you got the positive with a red mark you got negative without the mark there you got it right there that's the unit and you got the part number right there 010320 let's have a look at the woofer Let's look at the wolf real quick. We got, let's focus it a little bit. We've got the model IM.10B. Impedance is 4 ohms. Part number uh, T. Four one capitals C A apparently and look at the construction of this thing too. 
The cone is so high on this thing, it's unbelievable. Obviously it just allows more excursion or something, or allows to, it to breathe more air without making too much mechanical noises. And of course there's a single voice coil. Look around there. Single voice coil unit. Look at the spider, is actually very, very nice as well. Although these tweeters actually don't have them because they're just a single diaphragm with a voice coil and a magnet and some ferrofluid. Alright. So if you guys want to see an uncut version of me putting this together, let's do it now, eh? So by taking the leads here, the woofer, start by doing that, attach the first one. Then you got your your negative, you put it in like that, and simply just drop it into place if you really need to. Or whether it's sideways or that way, either way. Then I get in there and adjust it a little bit. Adjust the driver a little bit there. It has to fit in there real nicely too. Let's try and adjust it here guys. I can feel the back of the enclosure too. Right. We've got that. It's a little bit of a snug fit, but still it works alright. And the connectors are still connected, as I can see inside of them. And if we do that, you get a difference in that. Right, and you got your tweeters. Your silk dome tweeter. Start by putting the connectors on. One on that side. And the other one on that side, just like that. See around there, that's how it's all connected. And you just simply put your tweeter in. That's basically how it's all put together, just like this unit here that we've done. Just like that. Put your silk dome tweeter and you got your woofer. Really good frequency response to your place low is pretty good. Like from mid bass to high frequencies, which is for the tweeter. Right. Let's start off by putting the the main unit here, the tweeter. Just like that, just like when you're doing it in a factory and, and all that. Then, you tighten them up. Let's do one screw at a time. Just like that. I know there was a few cuts in there just to make it look like I was actually like doing that. Like that all the time. But no, that was just me fiddling around with the pause button. <laughs> it's funny.
and these are sealed enclosures I think the reason why they are sealed is to actually help with the frequency response a bit better and make a little bit more better base so yeah you take your trusty screw screwdriver whatever you want to call it So uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. Well done. Just like that. Two beautiful put together speakers. Designed and assembled by Audio Pro. Now we've got the covers here with the logos. Image 11, mini monitor and satellite, impedance 4 ohms, amp requirement 10 to 100 watts, Audio Pro AB Sweden, original audio equipment and loudspeakers since 1978. And does the same on that as well. So these are the Image 11 ones and they're pretty good. If you like this video, please give it Please consider, consider giving it a like, comment, and subscribe. And then peace out. And see you next time.